Good morning. So great to be here at Velocity and great to be here speaking with you today. My name is Cliff Crocker and I'm a product leader within Akamai. I've been attending Velocity for all 10 years now and I'm proud to have made a career in performance and reliability. I love this community and I leave every year feeling more inspired than the last. However, what I've observed in our conversations around technology in the exhibit halls, on these stages, in the hallway track, is that we tend to follow a similar dialogue when we talk about technology. The idea that finding is somehow uh, separate from fixing. I was reminded of this commercial by LifeLock, an identity theft uh, company, by a friend when I was talking about this talk. Uh, essentially, there's a, a bank and a bank robbery going on. Uh, bank robbers run in with guns blazing. Security guards is kind of standing there. All the patrons drop to the floor. Then the patron looks up and says, well, aren't you going to do something? He says, I'm not a security guard. I'm a security monitor. Admittedly, I can relate to this persona. For a large part of my career, I've been focused on one side of the problem as a finder. We finders are represented by technologies focused on efficiently and effectively finding problems with performance and availability or other areas of opportunity for optimization. This includes monitoring, availability, uptime, APM, log management, dashboarding tools, alerting frameworks, all focused on the goal of helping you, the site owner, find problems as soon as they happen. Our primary goals as finders is to reduce mean time to problem discovery. I've related to this category very closely, having spent a large part of my career in monitoring and testing. I would work for many organizations and help them identify problem areas and hand them this golden list of opportunities for um, optimization and enhancement, only to resurface the next month with that same list, seeing that they really hadn't done anything. Month over month over month, this would continue. It's a great business to be in, repeat business. However, not a lot of progress was being made on that customer's behalf. Enter the fixer. After moving to the fixer side, I soon found that despite my passion for wanting to fix issues, the technologies of fixers were not always aligned with those of the finders. Specifically, FEO providers, content delivery networks, tag managers, cloud infrastructure seem to take little to no actionable input from that of the finder. All these fixers have had a focus on providing tools and infrastructure to help you fix problems. However, there's a tremendous amount of work and coordination required in order to prioritize the work that needed to be done to leverage that technology in a way that had the most optimal impact on your end users. Now that leaves you sitting here at Velocity attempting to connect these dots between the technologies that find and the technologies that fix. Quite honestly, we vendors, we software vendors, um, this has been a problem we've been guilty of enforcing in our chosen fields in the community. Despite the adoption of DevOps automation continuous delivery within your organizations that refuse to play part in this paradigm, our, our, these tools vendors and technologists have been slow to adapt this new view, and there needs to be a synergistic relationship between these two groups. This is why I'm ec ecstatic to be bringing together two fantastic thought leaders onto one great team. As of April this year, Akamai, a leader in web performance, has acquired Sosta, the leading digital performance management company. Together, we're focusing on a new set of initiatives and challenges in breaking that dichotomy of finders and fixers. A lot has changed over the last couple of years that has made this possible, due in large part to many of you in the discussions that are coming out of these rooms. The W3C Performance Working Group has worked closely with browser vendors to implement timing APIs and other capabilities which allow us fine-grained visibility and control of our applications in the wild. Meanwhile, new standards have emerged for the first time in years which are allowing us to take huge leaps towards faster and more reliable user experiences. One of the many examples of how we're leveraging these capabilities to provide a great experience for your users is with our Adaptive Acceleration offering. Using resource timing data through advanced analytics and machine learning, we're able to identify critical resources and their dependency order. With this insight, we can automate decisions and techniques to apply in order to improve the user experience. Using pre-connect resource hints, we were able to establish connections to those external hosts, including those problematic third parties that we're always talking about, that we've identified with our analytics before we actually need them. Finally, we take advantage of server think time and we push resources from the edge that we anticipate we're going to need for the page. This combination of technologies, both finding opportunities and automating the optimization adaptively, results in faster start render and an improved user experience. 
We are obsessed with this topic, and we want to hear your thoughts. Through this new family of best-in-class technology, we're eager to get to work solving problems and having a greater impact on your users. Please come by and visit our booths, have a conversation about finding and fixing, and learning more about this great new team and how we're going to adopt these new technologies. Thank you, and enjoy the rest of the conference, and enjoy Tammy coming up here shortly.